Hello dear friend, this is Ewell Humphreys. I'm here to just share a word of, with you out of the Bible. And I pray that God it will be a message that will bless your life. The Lord will bless it as it goes out all over the world. Amen. I want to speak to you on the fact that the God of the mountain is the God of the valley. The God of the mountain is God of the valley. The God of the daylight is the God of the dark night. Oh, praise the Lord. I want you to believe that. I believe that there's a word in here that teaches that truth for us. The Bible says over Romans 8, 28, We know that all things work together for good to them that love God. Oh, that's a great promise, dear friend. If you believe in Jesus and you love God, then you can claim this promise that everything that ever happens to you is working for your good. Somehow it will all work out. It may not seem that way right now. Maybe it's something that breaks your heart. But in the end you'll find out that it's working for your good. Oh, praise the Lord. I want you to realize this and recognize this truth. Years ago, I was pastoring a church uh, out in East Texas. And uh, I was pastoring this church. It was a uh, church that had been built a the back of it was two-story, and then the front the auditorium came out from the front of, uh, of the building, uh, and, and it was all frame. We didn't have the money to buy to build a, a brick building at that time, and uh, I had gone. Uh, we had been there for a couple of years, and I, uh, we were running around oh less than 200 in church, but it was a good church, and we had a we had a uh, we we went, I went to the to the loan officer of the bank that we had borrowed the money from and I said I would like for her to borrow another additional loan in order to, to brick the church, make it look more modern. And he, he looked over our report and said I can't do it, you don't have enough money to do that. And so I was denied that privilege. One week later a tornado came through that city and it really hit our church. I'll never forget somebody called and said, Preacher, the church is blown up to pieces by the tornado. And I drove up there to look at it, and the whole top of that church was just gone. And uh, it, it was just in shambles. And I was standing in my study, and looking around, everything was torn up and soaked with water, and all my books and everything. And, and uh, a good preacher friend of mine was standing behind me, came up to me and he said, uh, Preacher, Romans 8.28 is still in the book. Well, I couldn't hardly see it at that time. There were many tears over that because they loved that church and they loved the building. But we went ahead and, and then about a few days later, the man from the bank called me and said, Brother Humphreys, we, you've got your insurance with us and I want you to know that you can build back any kind of church you want because you've got full coverage. We built back a beautiful brick building, air conditioning, and everything, and it's still standing. That's been about 50 years ago, and it's still there. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Preacher told me one time after that, he said, Preacher, I heard you were praying for the, the, uh, op uh, the Lord to open a door in that building program over there. He said, He blew that door open, didn't He? <laughs> I said, Amen. All things work for good, dear God. He is the God of the mountain but he's also God of the valley. He brings us through. Over in another scripture we find in 2 Corinthians in the first chapter, Paul says, We had the sins of death upon us when we were in Asia, that we should not trust in our... We had the sins of death. We were pressed above measure. We had above strength, insomuch that we dis despaired even of life. Our life was just about gone. But we had the sentence of death upon us in order that we might not trust in ourselves but in God who raises the dead, who delivered us from so great a death and he will deliver and bless us. And so Paul was saying we were facing some terrible things and when we went into Asia but he said praise God but we felt like we were not going to even live through it but God brought us through it so we had learned to trust Him. Oh, praise God. We have faced many things in life. One of the hardest things I've ever had to face is when I lost my 
my oldest son. About seven years ago I lost him by uh, suicide. Oh, it broke my heart. And I prayed, God have mercy, help me. And the Lord spoke to my heart and gave me hope. When he spoke and he, I felt it in my heart, in my mind, I thought, don't worry about your son. Don't worry about Ron. He's with me. And I believe it was of the Lord. I believe he's with God. I baptized him when he was a lad. And he was brought up in the church, but he got away. Oh, God, have mercy. And then I said, how can this ever work for good? But I have learned that I have uh, messages on the, t on the YouTube going out like uh, this message right here. And I get messages from people all over the world. I've heard so I mentioned that in one of my messages, and I've had several people all over the world mention to me how much it meant to them because a loved one had committed suicide. Oh, praise the Lord. God's working for good somehow, some way. Even though he doesn't he doesn't initiate things like he didn't initiate his death. That was the devil. But God took that. And brought in is bringing good out of it for the glory of God. Oh, praise the Lord. The God of the mountain is also God of the valley. Oh, praise the Lord. Over in the, in the Bible, again, we read a good word, and it's in, found in Philippians. Uh, the, uh, let's see, I believe that's Philippians. Uh, no, I think it's, uh, uh, let me see, Philippians. Uh, yes. Philippians the first chapter and here's what Paul was saying he was he was placed in prison in Rome in a, in a cold dark cell and there in that prison he was bound with chains what a terrible terrible condition to be in but here's what he said I would not have you ignorant and I would I, I would uh, have you to understand my dear brother that the things which have happened to me have really worked out rather for good to the furtherance of the gospel. For all oh, that my bonds in Christ are made manifest in all places, and there are others that have come to know Christ through my suffering. And many of the brethren in the, in the uh, seeing my bonds have been made bold to speak the word without fear. So he's saying that even here in bonds in the jail, God's working. And it's falling out to the furtherance of the gospel. I praise God for that. Years ago, about seven years ago, I took my little camera and I went down and I was preaching in a, in a, uh, a, a, a homeless uh, shelter. And uh, I was preaching there and I took my camera to put up there. I wanted to just take a picture of my preaching so I could use it as, as you know, a video somewhere maybe. And uh, the man that was in charge came to me and said, you can't do that. You can't take pictures here in, in this mission. And so I was denied that privilege. And I, that disturbed me. And I was so disappointed. And my son and my daughter-in-law said, why don't you put it on the YouTube? Make messages and put them on the YouTube. And I said, what's the YouTube? <laughs> and they showed me how, and I've learned how to do it. For seven years, my messages have been going out on the YouTube. For seven years. And last month, I had recorded 100,000 views all over this world. Praise God! How the Lord God of the mountain has become God also of the valley. If I had not been denied that privilege down there, then I probably never would have thought of putting these messages on the YouTube. Sometimes you have to be denied something you so want to do and the door is shut and you don't understand. Hold on. God is getting ready to do something greater and better in your life. Oh, thank God. Thank God, thank God. The God of the mountain is God of the valley. When things go wrong, He'll make them right. He's God of the good times. Is God of the bad times. Oh, the God of the day is God of the night. When your life is so easy, when you're up on the mountain, but when you come down to the valley to scorn, 
then you'll find peace only in the time of your sorrow you'll know you're never never alone for the God of the mountain is the God of the valley when things go wrong he'll make them right the God of the good times is the God of the bad times the God of the day is God of the night. Amen. God bless you, dear friend. God loves you, and he'll be there with you whenever you need him, all the time. Don't give up when things get rough. Just know that God is getting ready to do something better for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, amen and amen.